and Ogilvy, third member of this group. Nice par on the first, then three birdies in a row to sit three under. And this one is a turning left and could end up anywhere. It's into the trees. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Not what he was after there. We'll go and find it. Oh, God. Oh, dear. That he caught lucky. a tree root, hit a second tree, yeah. but now has a clear path. That was incredibly lucky. We're just sort of just summing up a bit of trajectory on this one, trying to see. He's got to flight it over the top of the bunker. Pretty, plenty of green to work with, and he's got good contact. And this one should check up, I suspect. Magnificent shot from that lie. Jeff Ogilvy is playing for position. Yep, yep. Get on the top. And that was a miraculous par five in the previous hole. But just what he needed, I think, after a really solid start. Right, over to Jeff Ogilvy. He's always had an amazing short game, Jeff Ogilvy. All right, so from the sand, Jeff Ogilvy. He's made some good pars the last two holes, short sided there at the sixth. Nice little up, up, and down at, at the fifth hole. So just lurking. So you can't put it past him. This is a little knockdown. This one looking good from the tee. And he sticks it pretty close. Another good birdie opportunity for Jeff Ogilvy. Hit a lot close for his birdies today. And there's the commentator's curse. <laughs> well, he hit a good part, Todd. And you would expect that part. Well, this is a really gnarly little lie. It's crispy because it's been so dry out here. He's just got to be careful he doesn't go over the back here. This one looks like it's going to come up a bit short. So Jeff Ogilvy from long range. Here at eight, needs to settle, needs to hit the house. And he might have to have a, a testy up and down yet again for the Victorian. Jeff Ogilvy down the slope trying to save his four right in the middle. And that, to my way of thinking, is seven one-putt greens so far in eight holes for very battle-hardened after coming off the Australian Amateur and New South Wales Amateur Championships. Jeff Ogilvy after a perfect two shot. And Gets it up on the top tier, so leaves himself around 25 feet left for a birdie. But and over to Jeff Ogilvy. Well, if he can get the drive away, he can be aggressive. This is a good looking putt. Oh, it burns the edge from Jeff Ogilvy, but he'll be happy with a nice solid opening nine holes. Shot there from Jeff Ogilvy. Sliding that 60 degree wedge under the ball. He's seen that magnificent approach shot from Jeff Ogilvy. And rewarded with a 18 inch birdie putt to take him to four under. Great to have Jeff Ogilvy here. Of course, we know he's a former US Open champion, but three times amateur champion of this tournament 20 odd years ago, Jeff. Yeah, this was one of like the first pro tournaments I ever played, really. Um, Mid-90s, it was kind of back of Victoria, and it was kind of one of those benchmark tournaments for us amateurs, the kids, to kind of qualify for and mix it with the pros. So good uh, history. I played last group twice, I think, when I was a kid. Um, never really turned out, but I played really well in them, so it's kind of cool to be back doing it again, like full circle almost. And as a proud Victorian, you think of Norman, Nagel, Thompson, all these great names on this trophy, and only 10-odd years ago it was secondary position on the Australian tour how it's come to fruition to this it's fantastic that's uh, incredible yeah it just shows you I guess if you you get a little bit creative you come to a good venue you bring the girls in you, you have a 
kind of a good concept and idea and run a good tournament and it's just got better and better every year and it's actually like a really kind of big relevant tournament now around the world and I think people are noticing this week you know so well done to the VGA and Golf Australia and everyone yeah mm. and quite vocal in the press by saying this now is in the conversation as being Australian golf's biggest week it's certainly the most important week I think at the moment because of the equal prize money and the guys and girls and showing that you can go to a, like a rural kind of place and still get people out here and get people all the way from Europe and all the way from America. I mean, you run a good tournament, people are going to come. Yeah, and playing well today, four under, looks good. Yeah, not bad. I mean, wasn't sure what to expect. I haven't had a scorecard in the pocket for a while, so, so far so good. And uh, we know that you've moved home. Are you sure as to what you're going to do as far as playing-wise before we get to the President's Cup end of the year? That's going to be exciting. It is. It's going to be, I mean, it's going to be amazing. Um, not sure I'm going to play. have a light year. I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to be playing in New Orleans, I think, with the whole President's Cup potential team and some assistant captains and stuff. So that's in a couple of months just after the Masters. So that'll be fun and the whole lead up. I'll be the kind of man on the ground in Melbourne for the, for the international team. So that's going to be fun. I loved it last time and I've loved every President's Cup. So uh, we need the international, to get the international team over the line this time. <laughs> and we're weaving past the gallery as well. Makes it special, doesn't it? Inside the ropes. No ropes. No, it's great. This is... This is Unless you've got a really crazy amount of people, this is the best way to play golf. It's certainly the best way to watch golf from behind us as opposed to the side. I think it's great for these guys. Thanks for your time. Good luck. No worries. Thanks, mate. Jeff Ogilvy has to play the same type of shot, basically. He's got 99 to this pin. Just a little knockdown looking swing. And almost got it inside of Matty Griffin. Another superb iron shot from Jeff Ogre. Geez, hit him close today. I tell you what, every birdie opportunity has been inside of eight feet. Good stuff from him. Well, the boys here have had to stand aside a little while the ladies teed off on the par three. And another birdie for Jeff Ogilvy. This is another nine iron for Jeff, Jeff Ogilvy here. Oh, well, <laughs> that should be handy just to tap that in. How good is it to see Jeff Ogilvie playing some great golf as well? Former world number three. Awkward stance. It's above his feet and on a side slope. So difficult to know with club selection here because this is in a bowl and tough to get it close. You land it short and it can kick off the hill and to the back of the green. But two lovely shots there so far from this group. Managing to stick it. Jeff Ogilvy. Just easing it up to the hole. Jeff Ogilvy, a little bit further from the hole than he would have liked on 14 after that drive. But this pulls up a little short. He had right on 90 metres for his second. To watch another European Tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.